Hey beautiful souls, happy Wednesday. Calista here with your weekly Ascension update. This is going to be our new day for the Ascension updates every Wednesday and today I'm going to be talking about choosing your vibration, illusion, psychic energy, implants and so much more. So much is coming forward today so go and grab a cup of this is the replay. If you're watching the replay, if this is live, hi, come say hi. Hey Claire, how are you? I didn't schedule this. I'm just going to be sort of in the flow on a Wednesday. There won't be a specific time, but you can guarantee the Ascension videos are going to be every Wednesday. The week ahead, energy updates are now going to be every Sunday evening. And then on YouTube, if you're a subscriber on YouTube, there's going to be a meditation once a week as well. So come on over to YouTube. Um, you might be watching this over there on the replay. If not, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, come and check me out. Calista Ascension on YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to ask the energy just to relax and ground. Because there is a lot that I want to share in this video. And my guides and my angels, all of us as one as well as your higher self, because you're calling in this information. Um, so I'll be honest, friends. I really thought, as another angel feather goes past the windows, this keeps happening on our videos, I really thought this video was going to be about energetic implants, like daggers and... Um, collars and implants and all that lovely stuff <laughs> that we become aware of as we raise our consciousness and I just felt that that was really quite disempowering and at a level just at one level of consciousness and the greater truth to the ascension codes that are coming in is really we can choose our vibration we can choose what we're going to speak about and what we speak about has a vibration. We can choose the activities that we do and that has a vibration. We can choose the people that we speak to and then our interactions with them has a vibration, our conversations has a vibration and so on. And so on one level, I'll just briefly mention the fact that we are now becoming very aware of anything that's in our energy field that's basically that doesn't have a use anymore, that served our purpose, doesn't have a use anymore. And not to be all, you know, doom and gloom about negative attachments and implants, because you know the secret that no one really talks about is the fact that normally it is an aspect of ourself that has put these things on us, either in a previous life, a concurrent parallel life, or even a future timeline self has put these things on. And I can go in, into that in a, in a different video. Um, but suffice to say, it's been coming up. It, it came into the Unicorn Workshop on Friday. It came into Angel Healing Level 1 on Monday. These are courses where we don't normally talk about psychic imp imprints. But yet the angels and the unicorns were showing us in our field these things, these aspects that are ready to be removed. And I've got some messages this week about people talking about how, you know, the energy feels really negative and... Other spiritual teachers are talking about, you know, lots of negative energies coming in and the dark agenda and all of that. But that news flash, you know, there's always been light and dark. There has always been positive agendas and negative agendas. Again, if we can go to the most empowering truth of all of what's surfacing is the fact that we can choose our vibration. We can be aware of what's going on, what's shifting what's purging from the collective consciousness that we don't really have to even be a part of. And in fact, it's better not to be a part of what other people are cleansing and, and letting go of. Um, be aware, but don't be part of it. Because talking about it, just, you choose, you choose that vibration and you perpetuate that. So that's all I want to say about implants. If you want to talk more, or ask more about it, just send me a private message. Um, so choosing your vibration. I woke up this morning 
And I knew that it was a day for the Ascension update and I said, okay guides, I'm listening. Okay angels, what what is the, what do we need to share today? What needs to be brought from non-physical to physical that will help us the most? And I heard loud and clear, illusion, illusion. And we can take, you know, that might mean something different to you, to me, to somebody else. But the long and the short of it is, we are in a time where our illusions that we are holding on to, they are being revealed. And nobody is judging whether we want to continue to buy into a belief system about psychic Im imprints or dark agendas or conspiracy theories or whatever. Nobody's really judging that. The only person that's judging is self. Because the nature of our reality is really the perception we have. Our perception and our level of vibration are mirrors of each other. That creates our reality. And the perception that I have when I look to my life, you can look at my life and go, I think I know Callista but that'll be through your filter of perception. And so when we look to another person or the collective consciousness, what's happening, uh, when we look at the ascension energies, it's always gonna be a distorted view because we are looking through our own perceptive lens. And this really anchored in round about 2009. At that point I had left uh, I was making skincare infused with Reiki and angel energy and I was a therapist, taught courses, Reiki courses and things like that. And then I won a competition to open up a holistic centre and crystal shop and oh my word, did my guides hold me, hold me for like round about a week it was almost like I couldn't do, I couldn't think a certain way or do something that would take me out of the vibration to win this shop, this centre, which then was the birthplace for unicorn healing, angel healing, so much. Um, it's just started to snow here. Can you believe it? Beautiful sunshine has literally just started to snow. As we bring in all these different layers of consciousness and try and make sense. So funny. So yeah, 2009. And I won the shop. And the, my guys guaranteed, like I don't think I had any human say so. My higher self and my, my team, they were in agreement. This was, this was the path. Anyway, my perception, my level of reality changed. It was accelerated. And honestly, sometimes I felt like I was losing the plot because literally my reality was shifting. There was nothing stable to walk on. <laughs> and I know that we're feeling like this day to day. It can feel like we're kind of losing the plot because literally what we've known is breaking down to enable the new, new ground. But I remember walking down the busy high street of Dundee where I had my centre in Dundee in Scotland and as I was looking to people really, really busy, walking up and down, they didn't look like people anymore. They looked like planets. They looked like planets. And I saw that everybody had their own, um, they were their own planetary body with their own energy around them and within them, their own grid system, their own point of gravity, like everything, literally worlds. They were all walking worlds. And I thought to myself, you know, this is, this is our reality. We, we, can, we can have a perception of, of what the world is and who another person, um, who they are based on our perception, but we don't really know because they're having their own reality. And we choose to mingle and co-create together, but really we are all here as source God, having our own individualized experience within our own planetary body, that is our body, through an, with our own energetic senses. 
And, uh, and if we come into that way of being, then we realize that if we pick up psychic imprints or um, dark agendas or psychic uh, daggers or anything, we realize that they are within our world. They are within our world. We can come into our power and go, right, I remove you, I change you, I um, resolve this within me and it's just a shift and it's that. It's instant, instant, instant. It doesn't have to be long-winded. We don't have to do the shadow work as we once did anyway. We don't have to overly process ourselves. Instead of feeling you, and let's just do this for a moment, if you just want to close your eyes, and just feel into you, you, your consciousness, your awareness, held within your body. And then your body is within the room, the room is within your area, the area is within a country, and so on. And it can feel like this, and this is what most people experience, that they're so small, a small, small, small part of a huge, big world. But really, what I want you to do now is shift it, okay? So you are the whole world, and the whole world is in you. Which, mean, which means anything that comes into your world, you can change. As the heavens are <laughs> reflecting with this sleet and these hailstones, you can change it. You want the weather to shift? Let's change it. The weather is in my world here. I'm going to change it. I'm going to see it sunny and bright. And if there's anything that comes into my world, I know that it's coming in for me to change it. If I hear about something on the news, I know I'm hearing about it because it's up to me to change it. And then just open your eyes. Do you understand what I mean, friends? It's so, and look at that, it's sunny. <laughs> sunny. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I have the power to change the weather, but in my reality, I do, just as you do. Which means if you're getting, you know, messages from people or or judgments from people about things that you, you're doing and choosing or not choosing as I'm getting at the moment. And you know what I mean, probably about different things. You go, okay, yeah. Don't have to answer them. If I want to answer them, I, I, I will. And whatever I choose to do in my reality, it's, it's absolutely fine. You know, they're just, they're seeing me and what I do or do, don't do. It's a distorted reality through their perception. And that doesn't and that 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 can matter to me. I can make that matter to me. And I can let it affect my vibration or I can choose differently. I can choose differently. I can sh shape shift my world through my perception. I can change my reality and then that'll shift my vibration. This is the sort of what would you call it? Spiritual science mixed with alchemical magic. We're all born with this. We have to believe it though, and we have to play with it, and we have to experience it. But if there's something that's in your world right now that you don't like, know you have the power to change it. You, nobody else, you have the power to change it. You're the wizard, you're the alchemist, you're the queen, you're the king. Assume that position of authority. And if you are seeing psychic imprints or the agendas of other people or something negative, change it, okay? Now, this Saturday is a workshop called Make Your Home Sacred. And we are going to be talking about negative energy and areas in our home that might be denser than our others. We might even be talking about demonic forces, possession energy, ETs, all of this stuff that actually happens all the time. And it's nothing new. They've always been here, just as angels of the light have been here, nature beings of the light. The light and the dark is always here. 
we don't have to judge it as sinister and evil and light and angelic anymore. We can just see it as neutral and we can, there's ways that we can live in harmony with all frequencies and create our home to be a temple because our home reflects our vibration and vice versa. And it's really, really important. I would say this is one of the most important workshops I'm going to be part of, and I feel very honoured to be to be guiding it as well with the Elohim and with the angels and with your house elemental being that we're going to be connecting with. So please do come along on Saturday, the 8th of May. Make your home sacred. Beyond space clearing, beyond working with portals, like really communing and harmonising with the energies that overlay your property. I mean, right there, friends, is my dining table. It's a bit messy. <laughs> but there's a, there's, a, there's a family, there's a spirit family that live here and they eat there too. And that was a bit of a like, whoa. But when I saw that, when I saw the overlay of the spiritual family that, that live here, I, we were able to, to harmonise with one another. And this happens, this isn't far-fetched or the stuff of, of films. Every home has spirits going through it and it's not a bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it can be a wonderful thing. Um, Mary, who is like a midwife come nanny, house elemental, helps me so much around the house and knowing of her helps me, <laughs> helps me keep my sanity than the other, than the other you know, feeling like I'm in saying because I'm talking to these beings. It's just incredible. So I hope you can join me for that workshop. And um, if, this val if this video has been of value, please do share it to help people to come out of the trapping of feeling like everything is negative, like there is all these dark agendas and to feel like immobilized by consciousness that is dark. Come on, this is the time of empowerment. This is the time of leaving that old BS, the duality behind and going, right, I can be neutral here. I can bring everything into my world and I can change it because I have the divine authority of my world. Isn't that the truth? Say yes, if it is, please share this video. So much love.